Shaka! My kung fu is better than yours! Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. On the road again. What a glorious evening it is here. Beautiful skies. Wait for a great sunset. Some dry roads and warmish weather here in the UK. Finally. Oh, what a day. What a day. I've just been cooped up uh, indoors for too long like just so many people and I tell you what you know you start watching loads of stuff uh, on YouTube or the internet or whatever I don't know, recently I don't know why I've been watching lots of uh, uh, martial arts type things and kung fu type things and all these YouTube videos said you know my karate is better than yours and you know, Steven Seagal is a fake and all this kind of stuff. And I just think, what? You know, it just thinks, you know, some of these people that come on there and they start mo bitching and moaning about other people, about other types of, you know, uh, styles or other disciplines or other whatever. Anything that's different, oh, it's not, you know, it's somehow substandard. It's so weird. I mean, I'm so glad I'm in the biking world and we have none of that whatsoever. Nothing of that. <laughs> but it's amazing. It is amazing how how people just seem to think that theirs is the best or there's the ultimate whatever it is, the ultimate fighting discipline, the ultimate uh, motorcycle, the ultimate crochet design, whatever. It is very, very strange. You know, for me, I've, I've never really been the one to compare things anyway. I, I just kind of try and stay away from that whole thing. Because, you know, I think you judge something on its own merits. And when you start trying to compare it to something else, I don't know, it, it just doesn't seem to work. I mean, yeah, you could say that something is going to be better than, a, than another thing in a particular situation. Let's say Kung Fu might be better than Karate in a, in a certain situation. Oh, you know, the other one, the other one it was, you know, there was all, lots of videos saying, would Bruce Lee um, be uh, able to fight any of the modern day fighters? You know, would he, would he be able to hold his own in MMA, let's say? There's lots of people saying, yeah, lots of people saying no. There's lots of people saying, oh yeah, he wouldn't stick a chance against us. And you know, there's, there's lots of pros and against, and there's lots of good arguments on both sides. And again, you know, you kind of think, well, there'd be none of that in the motorcycle world. But there is. There's loads of that all the time. You know, whether you ride a different brand of motorcycle, whether you just ride a different type of bike, model bike, uh, within the same brand. What about you just ride the same brand, uh, but a different era? You know, uh, Harley Davidson is what I ride, of course. You know, you could say, oh, well, you know, nothing beats a knucklehead or nothing beats a panhead shovel head or whatever you know lots and lots of that you know oh the m8s are no good and twin cams are the way to go and, uh, you know it, it's endless it goes on and on and on doesn't it and you wonder which is who is right who is right you know can you put this to the ultimate test well i suppose in in fighting terms if we're going to talk about what i've been watching recently I suppose you could to a certain degree, but it's never about the fighting style or the martial art, is it? It's more about the martial artist, the boxer, the fighter himself. You know, it depends how good they are at that particular discipline on whether they are any good in a fight, I suppose. And it's exactly the same with bikes, isn't it? Or cars or anything. You know, how good is a particular bike? you know, uh, in any given situation. And and the reason I bring this up, interestingly, the reason I bring this up, because Harley Davidson have just released their Pan America. It all looks cool. It all looks great. You know, there's lots of videos of them riding on, you know, dirt trails and all this kind of stuff. And it's fantastic. Yep. Great. Great for Harley Davidson to come out with this kind of bike. Whether I agree with the style, whether I think it's worth it or not, is, is totally different. Uh, discussion but for today I'm just talking about 
you know, is their Harley Davidson going to be better than any other brand? Is this Harley Davidson adventure bike going to be more capable than any other brand? Do you need Harley Davidson to be making a, an adventure bike right now? Because of what I saw on that video, their release video, most of what they were doing there, you could virtually accomplish on any bike. I've been riding off-road since I was 10 years old, and most bikes can handle sort of hard, compacted surfaces most of the time. Even loose stuff, they can handle it. It's just easier with a kind of, an, of an adventure bike, and there's a different style ethos that goes with it as well, of course. But I wonder, I mean, you know, is theirs going to be better than a BMW or a Triumph or a KTM? You know, what is the yardstick uh, by which we're going to start gauging all this kind of stuff? Do we need people to really start putting it through its paces? Now, there's no doubt in the coming months, you're going to have people who are buying the Pan America and they're going to be sort of putting it through its paces and test riding and showing you what is good and what is bad about it and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure I'll make a prediction now, you're going to have all the woes and problems of the first year of the Pan America and this new uh, uh, engine that they've, uh, you know, put in it as well. So there's going to be lots of stuff about that, no doubt. But which is best? Which is going to be best? And probably, just like in the martial arts, it's not the martial art, it's not the motorcycle, it's the rider, isn't it? It's the rider, how they're going to be used that bike. But there's no doubt certain types of bikes are going to be more suited to the role than other kinds of bikes. I'm sure we're going to have the rivalries uh, of old school, old guard Harley Davidson riders and new guard uh, Harley Davidson riders, you know, those who are going to be really enthusiastic about this kind of adventure style and those who are just going to turn the nose up at it. You know, you ask anybody who's ridden their bike anywhere, let's say, uh, and they'll say, well, why do I need to go and buy that bike when my bike could do exactly the same? People have been riding their Harleys, let's say, in this case, they've been riding their Harleys for years off-road on country trails and on whatever. Uh, you know, so there's nothing new in that respect. Where this new bike has to hold its own is, you know, in the mucky stuff, in the really dirty stuff. And can you, you know, ride it effectively by yourself, get in and out of trouble by yourself, and will it, uh, as I've always said, will it be able to stand up to the pressure? Will it, you know, will it be able to be strong enough, or is it going to, you know, things are going to start breaking off? I don't know if Harley's Kung Fu is better than BMW's Kung Fu right now. I really don't. It's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be an interesting matchup. But I think, you know, when you look at, uh, when you look at the video, I, I just thought, wait, it's quite generic. Yeah, that's fine. You're showing it what it can do. But you're not really showing it in its really extreme situations. And maybe it's not designed for that. You know, maybe it's just for a, a gentle adventure, a gentle tour, off-road. That's it. And, you know, I've got no problem with that. Let's just see if it can uh, last the fight, I suppose. Right, let us know what you think in the comments anyway. I'm going to go and get myself some uh, dinner for tonight. And, uh, well, catch you again on another video. Coming very soon. Is your Kung Fu better than mine? Ta-da!